Ben, as a, as a player, how hard was that to take on Saturday? Oh, it's heartbreaking in a way, last kick of the game. It's, especially when you put in the effort and the, the game we played. I thought we'd done really well. And then just to lose it at the end, it was hard. Oh, it's a kick in the stomach. As someone who's never played at this level before, or at places like Celtic Park and Ibrox, what have you taken from those experiences? They've been brilliant, to be honest. Um, I'm not used to playing in grounds that size, and especially with fans, I think there was 48,000 there, so that was massive for me, I'm in development, and I thoroughly enjoyed it, and hopefully next time we go there, or wherever we can um, hopefully get three points. You think the Celtic game as well, which I suppose was a, a bit of a lesson in many ways, do you feel like you guys who have never played these teams before can be better for it? Yeah, I think obviously losing in the statue we did at Celtic was... Bit frustrating for the boys and that and myself, but um, you just got to learn from them lessons. And next time you go there, you've got to realise that they are a good side, and you have to, have to deal with things better and just how it plays. So some of the attacking players you've played in in the last couple of weeks are they the, the, the toughest tests of your career so far? Would you say? They've been up there, yeah. There's, there's been some very good players, like obviously Sinclair, he's a very good player. You've got your likes of Kenny Miller, Cranshaw coming on, so they're all. Top players with had good careers, and um, it's a good test for me. Did those experiences match up to what you thought they would be beforehand? Yeah, in a way, they did. I knew they were going to be a tough test, and um, like I said, on the weekend against Rangers, that was that was a very good game to play in and be part of. And I'm looking forward to the next one, to be honest. How do you feel that you coped with it yourself? Were you pleased with the way you came out of the games? Yeah, I was pleased with the Rangers game, and. Obviously, from each game, I try and progress every game really, and try and get better and better, and learn what I can from the likes of Mick and other players on the team, and to progress in my career. How surprising has it been for you, though? Do you find it more difficult than you anticipated? Some of the quality players you're coming up against. Yeah, there's some very good players, and obviously you get your doubts from the outside people saying Scottish football, blah blah blah, and you get it anywhere, wherever you go, and. Um, there are some very good players in this league and it, it is a big test for me because it's a massive step up. What about uh, playing against Dundee? That's another team that you've probably not seen in the flesh. Uh, an opportunity for you. Have you watched them on television? I've not seen anything of them, if I'm being honest. So I'm guessing I'll be watching some clips before the game and that. But I need to just play my game and do what I can best for the team. How's the preparation for a match like that? Does the manager give you specific tips or videos to, to look at? I think for every game we try and discuss which is the best way to play against the opposition and what threats they have and everything like that. So we just got to go into each game and know we are good enough to challenge anyone and we work on what we're good at and see how teams can deal with us. That must be a different challenge as a player every week coming up against like, you know a new team, something new, something that you've never experienced before. I guess when you were down south, eventually you, you know you knew what to expect from all the teams, but at the moment you're still learning. Yeah, at the moment, yeah. I'm, like I said, I'm still learning and um, it's good for my development, really. And I've just got to take all I can from each game and use it into my next one and hopefully push on.